Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Test 2 Plus again today. This is episode 5 of 5 in our series on cloning. It's our last episode. We're not going to clone another episode. This is, this is, this this is, is the last one. one? This is the last can one. Can I do like five more of these? I mean, we can talk about cloning a lot in this episode. How's okay, that sound? Okay, sure. Yeah. And then leave it all in. Nothing on the cutting room floor. That's right. So okay. this is Craig. Okay. If you don't recognize him from Wheezy Waiter or The Good Stuff or Mental Floss or The Crash Course Show or... Um, other I, I go to the store a lot. You might see me at the store. Sometimes he's at the store. And, yeah. and Craig, uh, on his channel, Wheezy Waiter, does a lot with cloning. So we thought it would be fun to have him on to talk about some of the ethics of cloning. Because you clone humans for your show. I do. And then I send them to the alligator pit. Right. Because I don't want to feed them or deal with the ramifications of having a lot of clones around. That sounds like an ethical gray area. I think I'm making the right ethical choice. But yeah. Uh, so yesterday we were talking a bit about cloning animals and, and, and some of the ethics of cloning animals for our own benefits. Make sure you check out that episode. We've also talked about cloning all week. Um, make sure you check out all five of those episodes and please subscribe. But let's talk a bit about the ethics of human cloning, right? Mm -hmm. So can we trust people like yourself to just have clones around or are they all going to throw them in alligator pits? Well... I think I'm a unique person, and I'm doing it to keep keep it secret so others don't do it. Mm. I think with great power comes great responsibility, mm -hmm. like I've said before. Uh, I'm cloning my statement. Mm -hmm. um, sure, there will be people out there who would probably use this for selfish reasons, but there are people out there using lots of our technology for selfish reasons. True. Selfies. Self selfish. It's very, very... That's like as selfish as you can get. About. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I think I think people might use it for cloning humans for bad things. It's possible. Right. But I think we could also very possibly use it for good, for the, for the good. Right. I mean, you know? as of now, there's not really any regulation on cloning. There is regulation in some countries. The U.S. doesn't have a specific law saying you cannot clone a human. What they do have is a funding ban on using human embryos in research. So is no regulation better than bad regulation? Like, as you mentioned earlier, um, really what we would probably do is just ban it all, right? We would just take this new technology and we just ban everything. So is the solution maybe the right regulation or? I think, I think so. I think there's always, in most cases, in my opinion, it's, there's gray area. There's, there's, it's, it's never all or nothing or never it should be. There's a lot of specifics about cloning that we don't know about. We're not, I mean, I'm We're not, not experts. I'm not a scientist. No. I don't know if you're a scientist. I'm not. I think that all of those gritty details should be looked into. Mm -hmm. And I think, and laws passed around them. But the problem is we don't know, most people don't know that stuff. Right. Because you know? they haven't listened to the earlier episodes of Test 2 Plus. Exactly. So the professor of genetics at Princeton University, Lee Silver said, quote, I think that regulation is important to make sure that these technologies are used with informed consent and that people aren't harmed. And I would say that most people would be willing to accept regulations if the regulations were reasonable, the kind they have in the United Kingdom, for example. I like that uh, Professor Silver brought it back to harming people because there's like body part farms, like that movie, The Island, that we were talking about before mm -hmm. the cameras were rolling, and uh, people cloning without permission. Uh, you know, people who have access to other people's genetic information could literally take a nucleus from a cell, a skin cell, insert it into an enucleated egg, and clone someone else. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're thinking ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends, jilted lovers of all types, you know, that mm -hmm. could be really bad. However, they could sort of do that now. Right. Yes, they can do that now, and they can do lots of things now. Yeah. Guns exist. Yeah. Like, lots of terrible technology exists. Right, and we still have them. Yes. So we shouldn't just get rid of this because it's... Because of a possibility of something bad. Mm. Yeah, I think I, I, mean, I, I think I agree with that. Just mm. from a scientific perspective, you don't want to limit what science can do just because of what it could become. I mean, yeah. Atomic energy, for example. Yeah, or uh, I, I rode an airplane here. Mm -hmm. to do the shoot. Right. Not directly here, but at Not an airport. Like to the door. An airport. Yeah. And, yeah. And then a car, which is even more dangerous. Sure. That c Airplanes crash. Cars crash. Right. Should we ban them all? No. I would hope not. I don't think so. Right. Right. I just got back from Hawaii on vacation. They were talking about kamikaze pilots. They literally have used, you know, airplanes as weapons in the past in American history a variety of different times, more recently in 2001. But that doesn't mean we ban planes. No. Right. I don't think so. It's the same, it's the same thing. Yes, it's, there's a it's just like being afraid of something we don't understand, I think. Yeah. It's just 
being afraid of the other thing. Yeah, I think that's a good point. And mm -hmm. there are other things uh, mentioned. Gattaca earlier. I think whenever people talk about cloning and designing, you know, humans, we end up inevitably talking about this movie, which mm -hmm. I really enjoyed. It's a good movie. I've got yeah. it on Laserdisc. Yeah, Laserdisc. Yeah, okay. I'm that guy. All right. Uh, I also own many discs. This is an unrelated conversation we can have later. Okay. Um, but what about choosing aspects? You know, you you're recently married. I assume someday you may want to have family. I'm not going. I'm just assuming. Ass I do. Me kind of thing, right? Yes. So if you could choose the genetics of your offspring, would you want that choice, or you want to like leave it in the hands of chance? Leave it in the hands of my wife. Let her decide. Mm, okay. Uh, but uh, me personally, I would. I'm not. I mean, if you look at me, you wouldn't know it, but I'm not very much into fashion and and looks. Mm. I mean, if you look at me, because it's, it's just kind of natural, I mean, wow. natural, you know. So, f me personally, I don't think I would want that. Mm. I don't think I would. I would. Uh, I would want a Gattaca baby. Right. Um, but I wouldn't be opposed to other people uh, having that. Mm. I don't think so. Interesting. Like, like, I mean, you might have to draw a line somewhere. Yeah. I mean. And I might judge you really hard if you if you genetically modified your kid based on looks, but right, uh, it's uh, I I think it's up to that person. Yeah, because that comes down to like the ethical decisions. You know, you're the part of the reason there are regulations now is because you're modifying something that doesn't get a choice in the matter. Because you're modifying mm -hmm. like a, a human. So if I were to say take an embryo and modify it to be taller and more attractive based on where what I think is attractive, that person doesn't get a choice in it. It's like forcing cosmetic surgery in mm -hmm. vitro, right? Mm -hmm. So I can see where there are ethical considerations to be made there. And people uh, should be said, or it should be said like, mm, sorry, you can't do it for cosmetic reasons. But genetic disorders, I completely, completely get. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have a genetic predilection for obesity, for diabetes, for Huntington's disease, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, you know, even simple things like scoliosis or whatever, whatever there are that are, these are just diseases that we have to treat once you're born and you've grown. Wouldn't it be better to kind of snip those in the, in the bud? I think it would. Yeah. It, I feel like. As for, for, as far as, yeah, disease reasons go, I would, I would consider genetic genetic modifications for my kid for that reason like yeah. i'm allergic to tree nuts i wouldn't want my kid to be allergic to tree nuts well i mean yeah that seems like a very specific thing to fix oh well, yeah yeah but, but but it would be helpful i would hope <laughs> yeah I i'm think allergic so. to shrimp and yeah. god new year's eve is the worst yeah everybody's eating shrimp cocktail not trace trace doesn't eat no shrimp cocktail but then like to play devil's advocate you could say well, what if your kid wants to be allergic to shrimp? he has no sh he has no choice in the matter that's true you know that's i mean to play devil's advocate that's a good point like there are things that maybe we would consider disorders or mm. we would consider something that would be a negative that may not be a negative really it's mm. just we consider it yeah i mean such. being allergic to shrimp that is a negative yeah maybe but then again, like any choice you make, even without genetics, any choice anyone makes is going to have unforeseen consequences later. Yeah. So genetics would just be another option. Let's say we cloned you mm -hmm. and we tweaked your clone so that we live. Don't uh, tweak my clone. We're going to tweak it. Okay. We're going to tweak it. Okay. It's the norm now. Okay. We tweak it to live as long as humanly possible. So arguably 120 years with pretty good health. Wow. Is that okay? I'm Is fine that with that. Is that a good thing? I'm fine with that. Yeah. I think that would be great. Is there a downside to having people living to 120? Uh, well, there's a lot of consequences, like, globally, if if you have a, po a large population suddenly surging and living to old age, older ages. Obviously, e economically, it would be crazy. Mm -hmm. But I think it would only be crazy because of the change. Once once it started happening a lot, we'd get used to it. Once and we the norm would, yeah, it, would, it became the norm. It would be chaos at first. Oh, uh, yeah, that's probably yeah. true. Yeah. Especially as those people who would normally, if you say we this in this hypothetical situation, you have good health for most of your life, because mm -hmm. we've eliminated a lot of the things that end up being this like late life care, that's a huge economic situation that could be eliminated mm -hmm. or lessened significantly after people finally grew up to that. You wouldn't even know until a hundred years after you started the experiment that it worked out. Yeah. Which is, that's pretty crazy just to think about. Yeah. Like if, if somebody was born today, there's actually some people who believe that somebody who is born today will that that's already happening yeah i've know? i've interviewed a guy who believes that the, a person who was born today will be will live to a thousand years old what yeah that's a lot of years 
Yeah. Well, the the argument is that not that suddenly everyone's going to be living to a thousand. It's that they'll live longer because technology will get better, and then because they live longer while they're living longer, it'll get better again, and it'll get better again, and it'll get yeah. better faster. And yeah, yeah, mm, interesting. So it's it's less about cloning, but it is about yeah. therapeutic cloning, maybe get, like growing mm. your own organs and being able yeah. to take those organs and then put them into your body. And as that gets better and more accepted, mm. uh, it's not just like growing babies. It's also you know this other stuff which we've sort of neglected so far. So yeah. when it comes to that stuff, would you be down to? take some of your skin cells and grow yourself a new liver so yeah i actually have i don't see a problem with that at all yeah like, like stem cells and i'll and i don't i don't i don't even see that as an ethical problem personally yeah i think i think when people cite problems with that i think there's they're it's like fear they're afraid of the consequence using it for bad things or right. like the consequences with of great it. power comes great yeah. responsibility yeah but to paraphrase craig paraphrasing i know i made that up oh you did yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't see a problem with it. Do you yeah. see a problem with it? No, I, honestly, I, I really yeah. don't. Like for me, it's all of the complaints that I can recall hearing about stuff like that are, are you know, oh, well, they just want to clone their liver so they can drink their whole lives. You know, it comes down mm -hmm. to like kind of a judgment factor. It's, yeah. it's like, well, I lived a good clean life so that my organs are my original ones. And it's like, maybe you'll get those people. Yeah. But to be honest, Maybe you'll get people that turn 60 and are like, oh, time for a lung change. Yeah. You know, like time to get my belts, my belts changed. Yeah. You know, I, like in your car, it's just, that's it. That's what, that's what happens. You end up, when you're born, you give a bunch of cells over. And then as you age, you swap out things as they start to go bad. Mm -hmm. What about um, things like cloning other human species? Example, Neanderthals. Would you want to meet a Neanderthal? I think that would be cool. For scientific reasons, it would be it would be cool. It'd just be cool to yeah. see a Neanderthal, but that's and it, it maybe if it could help us gain some knowledge scientifically, that would be good. Otherwise, I don't I don't see the purpose. Yeah, you I know? feel like that's an ethically like ethics that falls on the negative side to me. I guess cloning Neanderthals it seems ethically bad because but they are different species. Yeah. Right? So is what? But they're smart. But they're they can, smart. They can play music. They have their own social interests. They yeah. could interbreed with humans. They're like a earlier humanist. So, but it's cousin. so it's it's sort of like a level of smartness. You'd have to draw a line oh. somewhere. It's funny to draw a line because then you really get into that ethical debate as to where the l intelligence line is. Mm -hmm. What can you clone a dog? Can you clone a cat? Can you clone an elephant? A dolphin? A, you know, whatever. A, a chimpanzee? Mm -hmm. That's okay to clone a chimp. Why is it okay? Like, you know what it might be? It might be language. I think if mm -hmm. like a Neanderthal probably can communicate better. Yeah. Uh, probably actually speak and express what they want better mm -hmm. so so we 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 have the knowledge of what they want so yeah. that's the problem with all other animals they don't have as much language right so they can't say hey please don't tweak me so that i don't have yeah they like, can't make the ethical decisions themselves right they just can't back to our hypothetical clone of you We've tweaked it. It's got the most magnificent beard. It's going to live to 120 years old and have no genetic disorders that you know we can identify. This guy sounds awesome. He sounds pretty great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can even give him a full voluptuous head of hair if we want. <sighs> right? Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Now, what rights does that clone have? Is that clone a fully-fledged person? <sighs> well, the way I, you know, people who watch my channel would understand my views on it now definitely not right a person right but that's because of my specific situation right if alligator it, pit and all yeah but if they were out in the world and cloning was common knowledge to everyone and i couldn't didn't have to hide from the government i guess so yeah i mean i would think yeah. so but yeah. the question is do people like are other people going to see it that way because to your point earlier people fear what they don't understand and if they could find out you were a clone mm -hmm. Maybe they would be jealous that you were tweaked and they weren't, you know, yeah. go back to Gattaca again, where there's right. like the people who were born naturally and the people who were tweaked to be better. Yeah. And if we start dividing society and if that would happen naturally or if we do it. Well, I think like as far as our our government situation now, in theory, all men are created and women are created equal. Mm -hmm. Uh there are certainly, we could certainly do a lot of things better. We could do a whole test tube plus on that. But I think my my understanding of it would be if the person looks just and acts just like any other person, it'd be easy to make the argument that they're going to 
legally have the same rights. Yeah. Socially, that's another story. Yeah. This is all gray area. This is all murky stuff, and it's all bad. But I, I don't think it's enough for me to say no to cloning altogether. Oh, absolutely not. I think because that's just fearing the unknown. If like, oh, but this could happen. Ooh, this might be bad. And some things probably will happen. Yeah. But I'm I'm more of an optimist, I guess, in that way, or yeah. more of a go getter. Right. You know. I like it, guys. Thanks for watching Test Tube Plus this week. Craig, thank you so much for coming in, having this conversation. Well, thank you for having me. Tell your clones I said, hey. I, I Well, hey, the ones hey, that survive, hey, hey, I'll hey, tell. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Where thank can people you. find you if they want to watch your show? Well, uh, I have, I'm on several things, but one of the main, one of the main things is called The Good Stuff. It's mm. an educational slash documentary type channel. With some funnies. With some funnies. Some haas. Yeah. yeah. A couple yeah. here and there. And a couple, couple hosts with beards, one of them being me. If you do like beards, this is the man to see. Thanks for watching Test 2 Plus, everyone. Let us know down in the comments how you feel about this conversation. Do you think it's ethical to clone? Would you ban cloning? Let us know. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to Craig's channel. And we will see you next time on Test 2 Plus. Thank you. I won't see you, probably. I no. Don't, I don't know if they'll ask me back. Maybe we'll ask when you're clones. They seem really nice. Okay. Well, they'll probably be dead, but yeah.